against Minnesota. With a career high 71 yards. Play fake. Sheridan almost has that picked off. Stephen Three is available. He was not last week because of post concussion syndrome. That pass into the end zone. Daryl Stoner, one of the 10 true freshmen who played for Michigan, was the intended receiver, but Sherrick McManus got in the way. And that kick is blocked. Northwestern's Corey Wooten, its very talented defensive end, able to get a hand on it, and the game remains scoreless. And Wooten, six foot seven. And he's got some leap to him, and he got the big hand up and knocked that one away. Artavius Odoms, who is the best punt returner in Big Ten games, as Stefan Demos sends a line drive towards him. That's a live football. Northwestern pounces on it, they and they it. have it. Eric Peterman in Ann Arbor. Third and 18. Northwestern plays it safe with Simmons. And it works. Simmons breaks a third and 18 into the end zone for a touchdown. So you think Pat Fitzgerald's going a little bit conservatively there. His offensive quarter, Mick McCall, and Simmons breaks it for six. Here on second and 10. Shaw cuts it inside and doesn't get much room at all. John Gill, a senior from California, dropped him, in fact, for a two-yard loss. Third and 11. Sheridan has everybody covered downfield. He finally tried to get it off to Matthews, but that falls incomplete as they're going for it on fourth and three. They got Matthews singled up at the bottom. Sheridan on the roll has it almost intercepted. That's three passes now that Northwestern has almost picked off. That time Brad Phillips couldn't come up with it, but it really doesn't matter all that much. Western's fifth punt, they only have six first downs, and Demos, who had his last, last one blocked, got some nice spin on that one. The you, Northwestern special team is down it right near the goal line. Was going to be a big part of it, got hurt, and now he is a big part. Second and seven, Sheridan hangs onto it and loses about a yard. Prince Putang, who has played very steadily, drops him, in fact, for a three-yard loss. Third and ten. Sheridan completes it to Brown, but he's about eight yards short of the first down. Corbin Bryant and Brendan Smith converging on the tackle, so the first possession of the second half results in a punt. Sultan Mesco, the best punter in this conference, a semifinalist for the Ray Guy Award, which goes to the best punter in the country, has it partially blocked. We have had special teams, plays like that, a couple of block punts now, block field goal, and Northwestern in terrific field position. Ben Johnson, who blocks that punt. Barely, barely even had to raise his arm to do right. it. That's just a punter error. Bechet on the run, gets the pass off and completed to Ross Lane. Longest pass play of the day by far. The previous high was eight yards. That one went for 20. Bechet completes again to Lane, who is close to the first down, stopped a little bit short of the 10-yard line by Obi Aze. Third and goal. Going again into the end zone for Lane, and this time the connection is made. Touchdown, Wildcats. Ross Lane finally gets on the board. Has 10 career touchdowns, didn't have any on the season, and he beats Donovan Warren on a skinny post, and Bechet patiently waits for it to clear and throws a strike in Northwestern. Answers. Three receivers to Bechet's right. He's looking left, and he's got Peterman, all reliable, his senior teammate, picks up the first down. That could have been really bad. And nobody's going to catch it. Er Eric Peterman takes it in for the Northwestern score. Oh, we're trying to tell a story about the Stewart brothers. Peterman doesn't care. Neither does Bichet. Hits him on a seam route. 36. Sheridan really has nowhere to go but down. The ball is loose. Michigan, a 
appears to have covered, recovered it, and they have. But Corey Wooten, who has a blocked field goal today, coming in and disrupting that play, Odoms was able to fall on the football. The shade got rid of it quickly. Terrific adjustment by Rashid Ward. Ward grabbed the football in Michigan territory. 18-yard gain, first down. Stefan Demos trying to do just that. Odoms runs away from it, and it is down inside the five. So Pat Fitzgerald got exactly what he wanted on the 32-yard punt as it was downed by Lee Coleman around the four-yard line. Brown again. This time, he gets nothing. Might have even lost a yard as he is dropped by Corbin Bryant. Brown is now in the slot to the right as a receiver. Three going into the end zone and overthrows it. It is picked off. Jordan Maben got the ball that was intended for the tight end, Mike Massey. Plenty of time for Sheridan and a great play. McManus hit Matthews right as the ball arrived. Sheridan pursued by John Gill. Forces it and it's incomplete. Northwestern gets the ball back. Prince Quatang knocked it down. Sheridan was hotly pursued by John Gill. Sheridan rolling, pumping, going long. He has Odoms behind everybody. And it just is beyond his outstretched fingertips. So now second down from the 42. Sheridan has Wooten closing on him. And somehow is able to escape and at least get the pass off. But it was too high for Greg Matthews. Third and 10 now for Michigan. Sheridan throwing long into triple coverage. And that one could have been intercepted. Greg Matthews there in the maize and blue shirt. Here we go, fourth and 10 for the Wolverines. Sheridan throws it out of bounds. Greg Matthews near the first down marker, but he couldn't connect. And Northwestern gets the ball back on downs again. First time since 2000, they'll win eight ball games in a season. And the first time ever that Michigan loses eight games in a season. They have one more, and they're going to play hard. You know that next week down in Columbus. Yeah, that, that'd be, that could be a season, a season saver for them. So Rich Rodriguez's team goes off the field with the kind of history he did not want to make, and that's the first eight-loss season in the history of this 129-year historic football program. Pat Fitzgerald and company going to get back on the bus, go up to Evanston. They finish their season next week at home against Illinois. And that will be one happy ride for the Wildcats, and rightly so. They played hard. They came out in the second half, Pam, and really played good football, made adjustments, threw the ball down the field, and got things done. Congratulations to Northwestern. Boy, particularly in the third quarter, they were outstanding on both sides of the ball. So Northwestern wins it by the final of 21 to 14. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Northwestern wins its eighth game of the season. For Ray Bentley and our entire ESPN crew, I'm Pam Ward. As we say so long from rainy, snowy Ann Arbor, Northwestern wins it by seven. Let's go to Homestead, Florida now in the NASCAR Sprint Cup Happy Hour.